and welcome to a new video where I'll be playing the first hour of Fallout 4. Um, if you've not played Fallout 4 before, I've not played it for about seven years. Um, yeah, so let's get started. This is on PS5 with the new Fallout 4 updates that you can see up there on the top right. Um, so yeah, let's just start a new game. I can't remember anything about the start of this game. I just uh, thought I'd give it a go. For what I remember, I enjoyed my time with this game when it came out, and the only thing I didn't like was the base building. Mainly because I was going for the platinum, and it just took forever to get that platinum with the base building. War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. Wow, don't remember that intro at all. <laughs> that was a pretty cool intro. Oh, character creation. Mm. Never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Hmm. Uh, face. Sculpt. Oh dear. Uh. Style of hair. <laughs> okay, this is very weird. Okay, boot camp. I didn't like any of them. So it's also on casual camps. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. <laughs> I like that one. Top knot. Ronin. I can't see the back to... Come on. Man. Colonial. No, let's go with. I'm gonna go with top knot. Did I mention how much I love that new haircut? Yeah, bleach. <laughs> I don't know about that, dude. Uh, 
lower face, jowls, lower facial hair. Okay, the gentleman, no. Man's man, renegade. Wow, so many options. Honestly, I'm not one of the biggest fans of uh, character creation because it's just too many choices, man. <laughs> Fuck it. Ooh, I like the beard. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm not actually going to change him. Right, yeah, that's fine. Uh, extras? Nah. Body? Nah. Let's just get into the game. But anyway, you can spend a lot of time sculpting your character if you want to. This is just a demonstration. Uh, not a very good one, but uh, let's just carry on. But what I will say is that normally during these videos, if there is like a cutscene, I will generally stay quiet during that scene so you can actually listen to it um, and then talk about it afterwards uh, let's go yeah, if I remember you press this one ha yeah now me, me personally I don't like third person views in Bethesda games because they're not generally very good for combat um, so I always generally stick with first person so that's why I don't spend a lot of time in character creation uh... well, that, that baby's wrapped up tight I'll be honest my son tried wrapping him up like that he wasn't having it at all. Oh wow. Blast radius. <laughs> An exciting new board game that brings friends, family and nuclear explosions together. The first player to make it to four to make it to a safe distance will survive. The rest will perish. <laughs> Do you have what it takes? Wow, that's a pretty uh, bleak game to be uh, playing with kids. Wow. <laughs> I will say, I, I'm loving the uh, the UI. That's pretty good. I've never, I don't think I noticed that before. Like, the way it moves to a uh, that nice square from the dot to say, hey, you can interact with this. Nice. And obviously, one of the things about um, we really need to get those vacation photos developed. Fallout Four is the radio system. Uh, when you eventually get your uh, pit boy, but let's carry on. Just exploring the house. Ah, good morning, sir. Your ah, Codsworth. Thanks, Codsworth. Of course, sir. Okay. He's not talking. Open the fridge. Oh wow. Nuka Cola, ice cold. Let's close the fridge. Wife won't be happy if we leave it open. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yes. Rodnack the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. Jungle of the Bat Babies. Lovely. Fun. Nervous? Don't be. Everyone's gonna love this speech. Okay, fair enough. Right. I was nervous at first, but Cosworth's really good with Sean. Uh, so proud of her. Uh, Good old USA. Hmm. Okay, so I can't leave. Bunch of our old holo tape recordings. Fair enough. Apparently, you need to sit on the seat to activate the next part of the game. All right, open. Good morning. Vault Tech calling. 
Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <coughs> you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid, and coming sooner than you may think. If you catch my meaning... Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. <laughs> vault 111. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Okay. Right? Yes. Sure. Let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, let's see. Ah, right. Right, so this is our skills with the special skills, as you can see. If you read them top from top to bottom, and you take the first letter of each word, it will spell special, which is uh, lucky or uh, well thought out by the designers. Um, obviously, that's from Fallout 3, and I'm not sure if it's in Fallout 1 or 2, but uh, definitely in Fallout 3. Um, so, strength measure of raw physical skills. Uh, that's just nothing. Six perception. Ah, we want some VATS accuracy, endurance, yeah, charisma. Yeah, that's uh, what's some of that. Oh wow! You don't get a lot of points. Luck. General good fortune. Yeah. I've never put a lot of points in luck, but endurance. Is your total health and the action point drained from sprinting? Right. So maybe knock that down, give that a three. Yeah. We'll go from there. You must name your character. Oh, shit. Right, um, uh, we will call you Bob. <laughs> Most generic name I can think of right now. Right. Wonderful. That's everything. Okay. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Mr. Paul. Hey, hon. Sean has been wow. changed. He is mean? absolutely How refuses you know to call down. I think we need some of that paternal affection. <laughs> I never noticed that before. If you actually pick a name. I'm pretty sure someone I remember now. There is a list of names that the voice acting for other people will remember if you name your character that. So like he said, Mr. Bob. Wow. Yeah, look. There we go, look, you're special. Sean to be? How are the two most important men in your life, Dean? Very well, thank you. He loves that. Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, yeah. sounds like fun. Sir, Mom, come and see this. Uh oh. Edward, what's wrong? What's happening? Followed by yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, Trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact. 
check for affiliate stations. We do, we do have, we do have coming in. That's um, confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. We, we need to get to the vault now. I've got Sean. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate from Vault 111. Wow, army was there pretty quickly. Outside the gate. Everything we can. Now keep moving. Whoa, oh, oh no, you run under that. Don't do that. Step on the platform in the yeah. center. Almost there. We're going to be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Those army guys made it. Wow, so we're going down into the vault. Yeah, cool. We did it. We did it. Oh, we've all got names. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Okay. One eleven. A better future underground. So we just yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. We left a minute later. No, we no. don't leave. Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door there. Come on, Mr. Abel. Yeah, the other way. Vault 111. Welcome home. You'll need your suits before we can take you further. Here you are. Head down the hall there. Right over there. Uh, thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love that AI. <laughs> that AI turn is looking that looking straight needs to turn 90 degrees. Not that the others aren't turning awkwardly 90 degrees. Our home. Everything we had. Sir. Yeah. How long do you think we'll be down? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Wow. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. Yeah, what up? Excuse me. Every time you've got all day. What? What? Uh, who's my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. Okay, we're in the vault tech suit. We're in the pod. Procedure complete. 
that voice sort of reminds me of uh, the Half-Life voice. Am I thinking of a different voice? Probably a different voice I'm thinking of. Anyway. Uh, we're in a decontamination pod. What's happening? Uh, what's happening now? We're in the pod. We can see. We can see our wife and our baby. I can move my head. Oh. Excuse me, why are they opening it? Stun got stolen. Stun? Son got stolen. And the wife got shot. Wow, it's not a very good day. Now how much time has passed since that incident? <coughs> now we don't know. Oh, you can't open anyone else's pod. No? Oh, fair enough. That. Like with other Bethesda games like this, when you start the game, always pick up everything that you can because. Like, you can sell it. So I would just pick up everything you can find and sell it. Might not be much, but. Uh, that would be my advice, just pick up everything. I'll take a clip. I'll take a jumpsuit. But also be wary of uh, encumbrance because uh, that's gonna sting. Welcome. Hmm. Okay, life support. Offline premature termination was on in system failure. So the same thing for that. Oh, it tells you who's in the pods. Mr. D. Petro. Cindy Coffran. Mrs. Coffran. Mr. Whitfield. Mr. Coffran. Nah. That's not you get any information about them. No. Oh, that's just. Doesn't look like there's uh, anything to uh, do. Let's have a look down here. Oh, ugh, oh, bloody cockroaches. Actually, let me just check this door. Inaccessible, right. Malfunction in wrench? Yes, take a wrench. I have my trusty fists as my weapon. Uh, oh, let's take a stim pack. Security terminal, can I use it? Welcome to security instructions. Yeah, no, I'm good. Security locks. Ooh. Yeah. 
Right, let's just. Oh no, no, last entry. The last entry. No, all clear from Vault Tech is coming. We need to leave. We're all out of food. I always murdered Stanley for dropping the damn salt tracker on the floor. A handful of us confronted the overseer about opening up the vault. I never knew a man that small could shout that loud. Now he's locked himself in his office along with the rest of the science staff. We're supposed to hand over any food and weapons and medicines we have by tonight, or there's going to be consequences. I've talked to everyone. It's time, one way or another, we're getting out of this vault. Ooh, now it seems like um, this vault did not go to plan and uh, they had to leave because they ran out of shit. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Alright. Press R to attack. Oh yeah, that sound when you get XP, ding ding, fucking awesome, oh, I missed that sound. Right, let's explore this place, okay, uh, oh coffee cup, I'll take that, recreation terminal, overseeing memo. Remember, use of the recreation terminal is a privilege. If work performance declines, this privilege will be revoked. Enjoy responsibly. Top 10. Rick Tim. Oh, trophy. Red Menace, start game. <laughs> oh, fucking Mario and Donkey Kong. Uh, <laughs> I honestly don't remember ever playing this. Honestly, don't remember playing this at all. <laughs> oh, shit! Okay. Oh no, okay. Oh, it changes. Oh, you can't run in the, uh... Oh, right, okay, hang on. Uh, I think I've gone the wrong way here. Ah, I didn't get very far at all. Oh, I got the power armor right. Okay. I wonder if I get it, get it now. Oh, man. I suck at this game. But this is pretty cool. Oh no, 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 I need that ladder, let me up the ladder, nice, I don't know what, uh... oh right, okay, so you can't jump and you can't climb in those bloody things. Not sure why I had to do that, but you know, that's the end of that game. Awesome. <laughs> I never knew that existed. I played the game for like 90 hours for the first time. <laughs> that's fucking awesome. Anyway. Right, let's check over here. Yeah. This is just reminding me of how awesome right. they are at making games. Don't know if you enjoyed Starfield, but I enjoyed Starfield. Played it for 45 hours and didn't never completed it, but I enjoy my time with Starfield because that game is fucking huge. And there we go. Oh, block. Ah, not blocking a fucking rad roach. Are you kidding me? 
Oh, is this gonna what happened here? Mm, yeah. Where is everyone? Oh. Well you know where they are, they've left the bloody vault, you moron. Power attack. Oh, okay. Uh oh right, big pistol, thank you. Pick up the stim packs. Is this all that's left? Right. Ah, right. Okay. Cool. Right. That computer's not working. Or is it? Yep. Then press X to use it. Right. Okay. Well, this place has got nothing. Left trigger? Yeah. Oh, ammo. Taking that. I'll take another pistol. Nice. Coming back later for you. Hmm. Wow. Don't know. Don't know if I ever came back for that gun or not when I played it originally. Wow. Okay. Terminal somewhere. Okay. What? Okay. Definitely didn't let me touch that before. Mainly because I had the um, had to slip the favorites thing open. Cryolator. I've long dreamed of making cryogenic freezing available in a portable on-demand form. The cryolator is my latest ascent. Thankfully, we're in no short supply of the chemicals and components. I need to tinker with the prototype. It's a nice way to occupy the time as we wait for the all-clear signal. Okay, overseas log. Oh, mutiny. <laughs> A faction led by the security personnel have turned on me, demanding they allow be allowed to leave the vault. Idiots! I will not open the door to be irradiated to death out there. I'm um, consolidating the remaining supplies, putting the staff on lockdown. We're going to have us. We're going to have to start prioritizing who deserves what little food we have left. I've been too damn generous with the rash rations. If people don't like it, well, that's fewer mouths to feed. Well, I can't read today. Well, generally, I'm. Um, some people say I can't speak and read, which is probably true. Right, let's open that vault door. Let's go. Yes, aim. There we go. Oh, I didn't use that. Anyway, right, okay. L1. Right. Right, so the next enemy, let's use VATS. L1. There we go. Right. Uh, so, so we have an AP gauge, so it doesn't stop time like a full up three. Right, so you can see at the so I'm going to apparently shoot it up to five times, but it should shoot it once. Yeah. Nice! And then that slowly fills. And I believe if you sprint, that goes down. Yeah, that goes down. It slowly goes back up. Right, okay. So we'll look, right, what we got? What we got? How do I put my gun away? Just select nothing? Hmm. Hold square? Ah, here we go. All, all Bethesda games. Hold square. Or, oh, in your case, if you're on Xbox, you'll probably be. Uh, X. Yeah. Oh, missed. Ah! Ah, no! Fuck off, Red Roach! <laughs> well, that did not go to plan. That was terrible fucking shooting. That was on me, that one. I should have uh, done more of that. Oh, shit! Yeah. Why did that one take one shot? Um, yeah, the numbers that appear in the VATs, that is the percentage chance that you have to um, hit that part of the enemy. Ooh. Pip boy! Come on, wrap it on your arm. Let's go.
Thumbs up from Pit Boy. Change tabs with L2 or R2. Change sections with this, yeah. Press that to exit, okay. Ah. Uh, can you inspect? Oh, you can, nice. Yeah. Back job. Oh, right, yeah. Nice. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, no radio. Okay. Uh, let's open the doors. I mean, how did he know to plug that in? That's the. Uh, press the big button. It's what I like from the. Sh if you can watch the Fallout TV show on Prime. They have that big red button <laughs> on the show. I've only watched the first two episodes of it. Um, Am I the only one left? And. Uh, yeah, oh, let's take another bolt. Yeah. Come on, open the vault door, dude. Oh, oh, all right, that's moving. Okay, cool. There we go. Change there, no, nope. finished, exit the vault. So yeah, you can make some last minute changes to your appearance or your special skills before you leave the vault. I think that's the last place you can change it um, before you're sort of stuck with what you have. So, but again, you don't know what skills you need really until you get out, so. Oh, wow. And that's it. You're you're out of the vault, um, <laughs> and uh, like all Bethesda style games, you just go wherever the fuck you want. Now, obviously, you can uh, just follow the uh, compass at the bottom there, where it says east, you know, like seventy nine feet or meters, however distance that is. Um, I seem to have a lot of quests popping up. Right. So, uh, circle or B on your Xbox controller will pop up a pit boy. Uh, and you can go through. So, if we go to data, yep, we've got quests and then you've got workshops. Open the inventory tab. You can favorite items by pressing that. Right, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And now there's another quest popping up. Uh, that's a bit too much when you come out the vault, to be honest. Look, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight quests here as soon as you got out the vault. And for me, that's a bit too many for people playing the first time. But you can see sort of like all your stats and what you've done. Workshops. I think that is the mods. I'm not sure. Don't remember seeing that um, but anyway yeah so you can just select one of these and it will direct you there so if we go to map we can see we're here our quest is there but if you scroll out and go across yeah so you can just put an x on the map anywhere you want uh so that's just uh like place marker there you go custom destination and that's it you're off go do what you want now, I would go that way, but I want to go back to my house and see what's there. No, there's not going to be anything there, but still. Oh, bottle. Right, so bottle caps are the currency in the Fallout games. Uh, so I would pick them up for sure and 
Yeah, press L3 to sprint. I'm doing that, dude. Wow. Yeah, so this is Sanctuary. This is where you lived before the bomb. I believe it was... Ah, it's Codsworth! Hello, my friend! Read the room, Codsworth. Sean's been kidnapped. But I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my son back. It's worse than I thought. You're suffering from hunger induced paranoia. <laughs> A little bit weird. What's wrong? I. I. Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no okay. one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from fire. <laughs> Stay with me, pal. Focus. Uh, I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were... dead. I did find Mrs. Holiday. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, a surprise. And then, oh, everything happened. Search the neighborhood together. This <laughs> and young Sean may turn up yet. All right. Lead the way. How to serve, sir? <laughs> right. Now he's going to uh, follow me or whatever. But um, yes, yeah, so you can go wherever you want, really. But um, so these magazines generally give you um, special upgrades. So critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks only do 5% damage. So melee attacks do 5% more damage now permanently. Okay. Yeah. I wonder if that game is still there. Ha! It is. Anyway, yeah, 
So I searched the neighbourhood with Codsworth. Where the fuck is he? He's gone off. But yeah, so like, well now when you're in that, out in the open world, you can literally go anywhere and do what you want. Like, that's it. There's no, uh, nothing to say like you have to do this. Like, you can just go wherever you want. Oh, look at cola, pork and beans. Sorry, sorry about that. What was that? Wrench, sequin dress. Ooh. Ah, oh, I've got no bobby pins. Are you fucking serious? Damn it. Okay, let's just carry on. Where's Codsworth gone? He's 30 yards this way. Yards, feet, meters. He's something in this distance away. A nice feature they added from Fallout 3 was that if you hover over something, it tells you what's inside. Because before you had to literally click on everything and uh, open it. Well, no shit, dude. Investigate Concord. Alright. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, so like you can just go around, you can go in all the houses. Did I go in that one? I think I did, I think I missed this one. But yeah, you can go in the houses, like look around for stuff, take what you want, and uh, yeah, just uh, go wherever you please. To like, uh, let's have a look at the map now, just turn this way. It's not giving me a distance to how far that is away. Oh, it's where I put my uh, map marker. Uh, how do I get the marker off? Marker. Yeah, so there's a sanctuary there, uh, which is um, where we are, that's the town. Yeah, so you just follow wherever you want to go. So, let's go there. And then you can see on the map below, you can see like the um, hollow out rocket that is like a dark green. Um, that just means that, hey, there's something over here. Um, go this direction discover it but uh yeah so we've got sanctuary oh what's in the toolbox yes so you can actually like create work what oh, shit create workbenches at some point and to upgrade like armor weapons uh, and modify weapons and and your armor and all that stuff but that is uh, a little bit further down the line But yeah, I mean, I've actually enjoyed the start of this game and it's really given me feelings of why I really enjoyed the Fallout games in the first place. Uh, my favourite is Fallout 3. Uh, I would not advise starting with that one um, because mainly you can't play it unless you've got a Xbox because you can't play it on PlayStation unless you've got a PS3. Uh, but it runs poorly on PS3. Well, you can play it on PC, obviously, but uh, but mainly I wouldn't start with Fallout 3, mainly because the shooting and the gunplay will not be very good. Uh, whereas in this one, it is so much better than uh, than that. I'll take the tire right. Yeah. Um, so inventory, you can. Uh, how do we favourite? R1, and you can choose a slot, like, uh, let's just choose there. So that's my shotgun. How many rounds do I have? Did it tell me? 
So the two on the pistol means you've got two of this item. So when I get to a shop, I will sell one of them. Uh, but I don't know. So you can see at the bottom left, you can, that's my weight, my encumbrance. So the more stuff you pick up, the heavier you're going to be. Now in this one, if you get to over your limit, you can still move. You're just very slow. Um, but yeah, I would... Uh, so like all of these, like I'm going to sell these. Okay then, let's stick together. Oh, patience. patience of a saint, oh. my mom used to say. Fair enough. Oh look, craft. <laughs> so if I like scrap the tire iron, I get some steel. So can I modify? Wow, okay. You can actually modify it straight away. Fuck okay. it, nice. All right, so yeah, there's obviously things you can't do straight away. That's cool. All right, there's that one. Uh, I'm pretty sure, so this thing is for your power armor, when you get power armor. Uh, and what's this one? Oh, that's to create structures. Right, yeah, I don't exit. Oh, bobby pin. Uh, oh, oh, what the? Bloody mole rat. Yeah, got him. Okay. Fucking hate those things. More! Ah! There's too many! Oh, I love vats. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I don't. This is bringing back memories of why this game is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing for me that I remember was that base building. Did not like it at all. Uh, um, by the way, yeah, listen to uh, your dog, because he was growling and making noises and telling me that there was something there. Oh, bro. oh nice. Well done. Yeah, so listen to the dog. He was telling me that something's there. I wasn't listening. I was too busy picking up shit. Right. Yeah, so we are nearly out of time for the first hour of Fallout 4 on PS5 with the new shiny updates. Oh, cap stash, nice. Radaway. Red Rocket Terminal. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Business entries. Oh, safe storage. Cave right below the shop. Interesting. The cave below the shop? How'd you find the cave? Hmm. I'll take that. Thanks. Wowzer. So how'd you get below the shop? 
Oh, I know. Okay. Alright. <laughs> oh, it's a mole rat den. Oh, no. Okay, well. Let's take a look inside. Yeah, got you. Oh, okay. That woke them up. Okay. Fuck you, bitches. I don't know if this is going to poison me or not. It looks like it's going to poison me. Okay. Yeah, so you see that noise? That's giving me radiation poisoning. Okay. Use rad away. Okay. Anyway. Oh, okay. Missed that guy. Oh, this is like King Rat Boy. Oh, okay. Didn't realize that was a. Didn't realize that was a King Rat Boy. Right. Let's get in here and, uh, yeah, so it's always good to read the terminals because they do give you, um, oh shit, how do you use this? Adjust with left, use the screwdriver with the right, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Nope, okay, let's try it up a bit. Oh, a bit more. Oh, too much. Nice. Oh, that brings back memories now. Oh yeah, I'll take all that shit, thank you. That's lovely. To throw grenades or place mines, equip them with the pit boy and then hold and release R1. Okay, well, that's a pretty good quick den to get a nice little safe at the beginning of the game. Yeah, nice. Back to the Commonwealth. So yeah, I can see Concord over here on the map. Yeah, Concord down there. But yeah, so I think, oh, I can level up. Let's level up. Okay, uh, okay. Agility, turn on the spirit of the normal map. Ultimate pistols do 20% more damage. That's... Buying cell, turn resistance, picking in pockets is easier. Iron fist, punch does twenty percent more damage. Uh, I think pistol. Will... Yeah, that's it. There we go. Right, as I was saying, I think um, we will call it there. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the first hour of Fallout Four. It's giving me memories of uh, why I love Fallout in the first place. But uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy my time. And um, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you next time on the next game. See you later. Hello, me again. Um, you may have just thought this video was about to end, but. Uh, I'm actually going to carry on playing because uh, I did play uh, and I realised something cool fucking happens and I didn't record it so I've just gone back to my save uh, where the video ended uh, so I'm just going to carry on and play and hopefully you can see the cool shit that happened uh, but yeah keep on watching and we'll see right. got some gunfights going on down here Where'd that other guy go? Hey, up here, on the balcony. Uh, a group of settlers inside. The raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us, please. The laser? Okay. Take it. 
can you pick up the... Uh... I'm pressing the wrong button. Right. Okay, so we have some new inventory. Let's pick up laser musket. Let's equip it. Let's also add it to our favourites on the left. Oh, we're not going to level up just yet. Let's open the door. So that, whoever that guy was up there, he's asked us to pick up the musket and come in. Well, we just took that guy up. Okay. Let's turn our torch on. Whoa! Laser muskets are cool, man. Gonna search the pile of ash. Uh, where's this guy? He's upstairs. Where are you? Oh, he's up there. Where's that guy? Oh, I think they're dead. Uh, Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get into here and I unlock this. Uh, yeah, 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 whatever. Yeah, so you select words on here and it tells you, like, oh, there's one letter in there that is in the right place. So spies has one letter that's in the right place. Um, cares? Okay, that has two letters. Uh, so maybe E and S are in the same place. Okay, so what about... No, it can't be gives. Mm. What ends with gives midst? Let's try gives. Oh, that's one again. Okay, so maybe not ENS. So cares is two. Ooh, okay. Right, what we can do, we've got one attempt remaining. If we can find a parenthesis, parentheses, uh, we can actually reset our tries. Glove. Zero. Blade. Zero. Okay. Taint. One. Okay, let's come back out and try again. Wow. Normally you get a brass. Okay. Uh, blown. Sweet. That was a good guess. <laughs> yeah, cool. Uh, basically, I just want to open this because I want this fusion core, which I'm going to need. Uh, that's that door. Yeah, let's take all that. Take loads of ammo. Right, the fighting seems to have stopped at the moment. Let's get the gun back out. Right, there's a... Yeah, let's just check over here. Serpentine, dog tags, silver fork, bottle caps. Yep, and then. Pretty sure we go this way, just to get some of that, get that. Right, nope, okay. Uh, where do we go? Is it this way? No. Nope. Ah, there we go. Are you fucking ah! yeah. Okay. Let's take some chems. Here we go. Right, let's go upstairs. Take the skull. Oh! Wow, this gun's pretty damn good. Right, here we go. Man, I don't know who. Minutemen? So now I'm traveling backward in time? Protect the people at a minute's notice. That was the idea. So I joined up, wanted to make a difference. And I did, but things fell apart. Now it looks like I'm the last Minuteman left standing. Hmm. Go on. Please, go on. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. Hmm. 
First it was the fools in Lexington, and now this mess. Sounds so, rough. Sounds rough. Uh, Thanks. Uh, it's good to meet someone who really cares. One good idea can make all... Sturgis. Tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. Pre-war. You might have seen it. Mm. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. Mm. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Yeah, I'm digging. Any gun. Now we're talking. I know, right? It can <laughs> be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Got one, buddy. Great long-term nuclear battery. Mm -hmm. But we can't get to the damn thing. Yeah, Look, I've already got it. I already actually, have it. I already grabbed the fusion core. Well, I'll... <clears throat> yeah, let's Look, go. Uh... Be big. We much good in the I need there we go. Yeah, so remember to pick up those um, comics. Nice. Take perception bobblehead. <coughs> Permanently increases your perception. Sorry about the cough. Right, let's just turn the torch off and go outside. Yeah. Yep, put the fusion core in, pop, pop, and then enter. Is pretty cool. Did like the UI changes. That's pretty damn cool. Uh, we got somebody up here. Why don't you get down here? Yeah. So you can jump and you don't take any damage. And that is pretty fucking cool. Take that, take that. And here comes the cool bit. It's the fucking death claw. Why can't I get the body? Nah, it's just fire! Whoa! I think I'm gonna die. Oh, okay, <laughs> just run out of bullets. So we killed the death claw. Let's kill all the raiders. I don't think they're all dead yet. Still, uh, hey! Where are you? Awesome. Uh, yeah, and that's what happened before, and I wanted to record it. Because I think that is a fucking awesome bit of the game. There's a fucking death door straight away. Forgot about that. Can you go down there? Oh, you can. Awesome. Concourse Civic Access. Ooh, I've not actually been in here. Interesting. 
wonder if there's another death claw. Maybe that'll be uh, the next place I go. That looks awesome. Hang on. Let's have a look. It looks like a big place, to be fair. Yeah, let's not do some knock picking right now. Ooh. Lovely. Well, that looks like an awesome place. Try that out next time. That is the end of the video for Fallout 4. I hope you like the introduction. I hope the added 15 minutes or so is uh, worth your time. So thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. See you later.